today I am finally, after seven and a half months of having had Joel, I am finally going to do my honest review of my beautiful egg pram for you guys. I know it's a very, very popular pram and I know a lot of people who are considering buying this pram and um, I do get messages over on Instagram asking me whether it's worth the money because um, obviously it's not a cheap pram. Um, so I just wanted to pop on and just give my really honest review about the pram really. I mean, I personally love it. So I'm just going to talk through everything that it includes and just my personal experience and my review of this gorgeous, gorgeous pram. So just a really quick disclaimer before we go ahead and jump on into the video. Um, Egg have not paid me to do this review. I am in no way associated with Egg at all as a brand. Um, so this is literally just my honest opinion. Um, having used this pram for over half a year now, oh my God, I can't believe how quickly it's gone. So just a really quick little backstory as well before we get into the video. Um, so we, I mean, this pram has always been the one that I had my eye on when I was pregnant. It's a very, very head turning pram. And personally, that is what sold it to me as well. We went baby shopping pre-COVID about two months before, three months before we went into the first lockdown. And I was very lucky to go around and try all the prams out in our local pram shop. So I did really like the eye candy pram as well. That was probably the second one on my list. It is ever so slightly cheaper than the egg, um, maybe like a couple of hundred pounds cheaper. Um, but really, I was when I went round and I was trying them out, they said that the egg is easier to build than the eye candy and just certain things like that. So the egg and the eye candy prams are designed by the same person. That's why they do look slightly similar and they're both very stylish, almost like compact designs. Um, so if you didn't know that, that's just like, like a little bit of little bit of general info for you. Um, but yeah, it was so important to me to have a pram that I, you know, I look, it looks stylish. See, your pram is kind of like going and choosing a new car or choosing a new handbag. It's going to be with you. It's going to be your biggest accessory for the best part of a year or probably longer. It depends how long you have one of these prams for before choosing a smaller pram. I'm personally just going to stick with this till he's three because I don't see the point in buying a smaller pram. This is absolutely fine and it's so lightweight for me. So yeah, anyway, it was really important that I had something that was stylish. Um, something that looked really nice, but also something that was lightweight and compact. Um, we did buy a big family car um, when I was just before I got pregnant. So it's got a big boot space. So I didn't really need to worry too much about finding something that fitted into the boot. But this does fold up um, very small. So it is good if you've got a slightly smaller boot or a slightly smaller car, in my opinion. I think it will be absolutely fine for that. Um, I also wanted something that, because obviously I did look at the slightly cheaper prams to try and save some money, but there was, I just couldn't make myself like them as much as the egg. I've heard people that have gone for cheaper prams say that they feel quite flimsy and they're not very good on like bumpy ground or off road and things like that. Um, and I find the egg is really, really stocky. The other day I was out walking and I came to like a big muddy patch that I couldn't go around. I literally had to go off roading with it and like pull it through all of this mud. It did absolutely fine. Obviously it needs to clean afterwards, but it did absolutely fine. I've also been on lots of like bumpy gravelly walks. It's it's great. I don't think it's specifically an off-roading pram, but I have been off-roading quite a few times with it and had no issues at all. So yeah, this pram retailed for the package that we went for, because you can just get the one with the seat unit or you can just get the one with the carry cot unit and buy the other unit for it separately. Um, we also wanted to get the car seat adapters, so I haven't brought those in to show you, they are in the car, but it's got the adapters that are normally £29 to pop on the pram so you can put your car seat onto it. Um, so this retailed in total for about £1,000 for the whole package. Um, you can get packages that include slightly like a few extra accessories and add-ons that are slightly more expensive. You can get packages that are about two to three hundred pounds cheaper, like I said, just with the seat unit rather than the carry cot as well. But you are going to need the carry cot, in my opinion, for when they are tiny. So, like I said, for the package that we've got, which I will show you everything included in a second, um, it was a thousand pounds. So it's not a cheap investment, but I'm going to talk through why I think it's worth the money and everything that it includes and kind of like how it works. So without me rambling on anymore, let's get into the video. 
So this is the very stylish seat unit of the egg pram. Joel has been in this since he was around five months old and I just love it so much. This also flips around for them to be forward facing if they want to. And it has this basket underneath. It's not the biggest basket in the world, but I've done a lot of home bargain tools in this and I can fit quite a lot of stuff in it. So this handle also twists in the middle at the top and pulls up to extend and then pushes down again. And then there's also this three point hood. So you can have it all the way forward, which keeps a lot of sun out of the baby's eyes or halfway or all the way back. And then on the back of the seat unit at the top, you've got this clicky lever type handle. So you can adjust the positioning of the seat. So you can have it halfway back like this or all the way back like this setting. Or like in the beginning, you can have it completely upright. It just depends on whether obviously baby is awake or asleep, but either way, it's really, really comfortable for them. So then also like with most prams, we have this, I think it's like a safety bar at the front. So it just simply unclicks via a tiny button underneath it at the side. And it can also come off at the other side as well. So you can have it completely off. I always have this on. And then also I will show you in a second, the cozy toes sits over this when it's on. So then inside the seat unit, excuse that cloud toy, that doesn't come with the pram, but there's this like three kind of like three point harness and it has this um, Velcro padding over the straps. Um, so you can take this off and put it in the wash if baby is sick on them or if they get mucky. And then one of my favorite things about this pram is this gorgeous cream fur lining. So this can be taken out. Um, and also on the other side, it's got this gorgeous quilted lining so you can reverse it. So probably when it comes more into spring, I will reverse it and have the quilted lining. But then the actual underside of the seat unit is really nice as well. So you can just have it without any lining in at all. So if it's summertime, you could just have it without anything in. But for the winter, I've had the gorgeous fur lining in and it is honestly the softest fur I've ever felt. One thing I love about this pram is how good quality it looks as well. So like all these little details around the pram and I love the um, chrome chassis. I think it's stunning. And also these wheels, excuse they're a bit muddy because I've been doing a lot of lockdown walks, but they just simply pop off. And so they're so easy to clean. So these buttons on the front, I believe my husband normally does it rather than me, um, but they just pop off. And then we have the final part of the seat unit, which is the cozy toes. So this was another selling point of the pram for me. And it just simply goes over the footrest at the bottom. There is a button underneath to secure it, but I don't usually bother with that. And then it just simply goes over the safety bar. And then there's two poppers, one on either side, just to clip it into place. So I've seen a lot of people that also purchase fairly expensive prams in other makes um, say that their pram didn't come with a cozy toes. So hats off to Egg for including that with the package because honestly in the winter you really do need it I feel. And then you also have the adjustable footrest, which is brilliant. Depending on what position the seat unit is in, you can adjust the footrest with these two buttons on either side just to fit with the positioning of the seat unit. And the seat unit comes with a really high quality rain cover. So it's so easy to get over. And um, there is Velcro at the back as well, but I won't do that up in this video, but it does all Velcro together at the back to make it more secure. And also when you've got the cozy toes on, the rain cover still fits over really, really nicely. Um, and there's also a separate rain cover with the carry cot, which I will show you in the next few clips. There are also so many add-ons you can get. So a drinks holder can go here on the handle, which I keep meaning to purchase. It's about 15 pounds. Then you can also get a parasol to go over this part. It's like a little umbrella type parasol, but the official egg one is 30 pounds. Um, so I will be purchasing that this summer because quite a lot of the sun did come into the pram last summer. Even though this hood goes down quite far, the sun does still come in when it's very, very bright. 
also do um, their own egg changing bag and on the handle there's stoppers so you can put your own changing bag over it and then I believe these little um, buttons at either side of the handle are for the egg changing bag because I saw it in the pram shop with the own um, egg changing bag on it however I'd already bought a lovely changing bag so I didn't purchase the egg one otherwise I probably would have done because it matches the pram and it's stunning but you can get so many add-ons for this pram including like a fly net and anything you could think of really. they literally sell so many lovely add-ons that you can purchase for this pram. And then the um, final thing is the brake. So it's literally just at the bottom here and it just clicks on and off. It's so easy. I think most prams are similar, but just to quickly show you that bit as well, in case you wonder where it is. Then just to take the pram apart, um, you simply just click the buttons on either side of the seat unit and that just pops the seat unit off. And if you've got the handle extended, you would put that down first and then in the middle of the handle where you would twist to extend it, you basically just twist it the other way. I think you twist it backwards um, and that just pops the handle down and then pull up the handle in the middle of the pram basket and then it pulls the wheels together. And as you can see, it folds up really nice and compact. So then to put the pram up again, you basically just have a little lever on the left hand side of the handle. So you just pull that out to release the handle. The handle comes up and then the wheels just pop open and then you just put your seat unit or your carry cot or your car seat um, adapters if you're putting the car seat on onto the pram. And here we have the carry cot part of the pram. So as you can see, it's got lovely quilting on either side and the nice egg logo. The apron on the carry cot is slightly different to the one on the cozy toes of the seat unit. And I love the fact it's all material around the side as well. It just looks such good quality. I've seen some cheaper prams that are plastic around the side and I just think the egg looks really, really nice quality. So after you've clicked your carry cot onto the chassis, you've got these buttons on either side of the hood. So again, it's a three point hood like with the seat unit, but you do have to press the buttons on the carry cot, whereas on the seat unit, you can just pull it up. And at the top of the hood on the carry cot part, you've got this little gap there. So it's good for like hanging toys on. We used to have that cloud toy or that's now on his seat unit hanging here. It's just nice for them when they're newborn to have something to look at. And then there's also a zip underneath the top bar of the hood so you can unzip it all um, and it can come off. Also inside the carry cot, you've got this mattress that comes with it. I would recommend getting a mattress protector um, underneath your mattress sheet because that's what we did. Obviously it doesn't have anything on it at the moment because this has actually um, been put away in the loft now and I've just got it out for this video. Um, but we did have a mattress protector and a nice white sheet on here when Joel was in the pram. And then also the cover for the carry cot. So this does completely unzip. So if you don't want it on at all, so for example, in the summer, or this is actually good for occasional overnight sleep egg say on their website and we did use this when we stayed at Joel's grandparents house once um, if you don't want the cover on there it does completely unzip which is really handy So then the final part of the carry cot unit, um, as I mentioned earlier, it does come with a separate rain cover to the seat unit, which is really good because obviously it's going to be a completely different shape um, to the seat unit one. So this is so, so easy to get on again. And there is Velcro to secure it at the sides, but obviously just for, um, to make this video a bit quicker, I will not be securing it down today. But yeah, as you can see, it's just really, really easy to get on and off. And as you can see, I don't know if you can from the video, but the when you've got the carry cot unit on, the pram does look quite short. Um, and my husband is six foot two. So if you have a tall partner or if you're very tall yourself, you might look a bit strange um, or like you're pushing a doll's pram around. Egg do actually sell the height extenders for this carry cot unit. Um, so you can adjust the height on it. 
and then finally this is where the car seat adapters will go as i mentioned earlier we've got these um but they are currently in the car so you just pop them in either side and then your car seat just pops on top and they are 29 pounds from egg but we got them as part of our package so guys, that is my honest review of the Egg Prem. And in my opinion, as you can see, it's such good quality. It is definitely worth the money to have a pram that um, just looks nice and works so well, is simple to um, put together and take down. Um, I just think sometimes it just is worth paying that a little bit extra just to get that better quality pram. Um, that's not to say that lower priced prams aren't good quality, but I just personally think this is well worth the money and I'm so glad that we got it. The other good thing that I forgot to mention in the video about the egg is if you have another child fairly close together, because this is suitable till they are three years, around three years old. Um, if you have another child fairly close together, um, you can buy an adapter. So you can basically have um, two units on here so it converts into a double buggy. That was actually like a really big selling point for us because we're not going to have like the biggest age gap, we're not going to have the smallest, but there is a chance that we, Joel may still be in this pram when we have another baby. So you basically, obviously when your child is a bit older, you're going to have a seat unit, but you're also going to want the carry cot as well, which is fine. And then obviously when our second child gets a little bit older, um, Joel will probably be out the pram and they'll move into the seat unit. So we won't ever have to buy two seat units but if you have twins all you need to do is purchase an extra seat unit and then you can have both of them on the pram if that makes sense so what you would do is you would get um an adapter for one side and you would have the seat unit i think the seat unit sits higher and then the carry cot sits slightly lower on the other side so then you've got the two units on the one chassis um so that if you're considering having babies close together or if you're having twins that is another great selling point for the egg pram so guys, I really hope this review has been helpful for you. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit the subscribe button down below. It would really help out my channel. I upload, aim to upload twice a week with um, all things motherhood really and the odd haul thrown in. So I would really love it if you could come and join me over here on this channel. Um, if you've liked this video, do give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video.